What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we kick off the Gauntlet series for the Realme Buds Air 6 earbuds. And their uh, first opponent will be the OnePlus Buds 3. Now, this should be a very interesting head-to-head. -head. I'm, I'm very, very curious to see how this one plays out. So if you want to see price specs and app breakdowns for each of these earbuds, I'll leave links in the description below to my unboxing videos for both. That way you can go ahead, check those out, and then come on back and join us uh, for this Gauntlet series episode. So let's go ahead real quick and take one of each of these out. As you can tell, they're both of the stem style uh, form factor. Um, of course, two totally different designs. As you can see, we got the uh, Buzz 3 here on the right, the six Pro, Air 6 Pros on the, on the left. Uh, both of them very, I like the styling of them both. Very, very unique in their own way. Uh, both very, very comfortable. I am rocking the CP1025 Air Tips by SpinFit on the uh, Buzz 3. I have not changed over uh, the <clears throat> excuse me the real me the air six pros rather i haven't done anything to those i'm still deciding on if i want to i'm more likely will but i haven't as of yet so they're gonna go in just like this so what we want to do now is let me put these in we're gonna go ahead do our uh comparison testing and then we will come back for the sound test stay strapped in this is a mic test with the OnePlus Buds 3 in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the OnePlus Buds 3 in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the OnePlus Buds 3 in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the OnePlus Buds 3 in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Realme Buds Air 6 Pro earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Realme Buds Air Pro 6 earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Realme Buzz Air 6 Pro earbuds in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Realme Buzz Air 6 Pro earbuds in a crowded location. All right, we are out back in my backyard. We got the OnePlus Buds 3 in the ear. And we're going to do an ANC test. We are currently, <clears throat> excuse me, let me paint the picture for you. All right, we've got the audio coming from the turnpike right behind the camera. We got audio coming from the street. Right on the other side here, we got Citro Air units firing off and on. Uh, so what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and put these guys in noise canceling. I am currently in transparency mode. So we're going to go ahead and, ho and get these guys going. Just press and hold. All right, noise canceling has been turned on. Again, the Citro Air units right here is firing. That got a lot quieter. I can still hear it a little bit, but it did get a lot quieter than it was previously when transparency mode going. I cannot hear the, the cars on the street over here. Um, I can, I definitely cannot hear the street, the turnpike uh, sound. Now, uh, to be paint the picture for, I am did go ahead and switch out the ear tips. I am using the larger ear tips that come in the box, and so I'm getting a better seal there. And they're doing a really good job uh, getting, you know, uh, blocking out noise canceling. And again, I am not shooting this with music playing. This is strictly the strength of the ANC within the uh, earbuds. And uh, like I said, they're doing a really good job. So if I have to rate them, one being absolute trash, 10 being the best, I would give these, I I'd say a seven and a half on the ANC scale right now, because like I said, it's blocking out everything else. The central air unit is, it did deaden it a lot, but I can still hear it. So I'm, that's where I'm at with that seven and a half. They're doing a great job. So this has been the ANC test for the OnePlus Buzz 3. All right, next up is we're gonna do noise canceling test. I have, uh, it's laid out, so we're gonna uh, do it here in the studio. Um, a little departure from what I usually do, but that's okay. We're in transparency mode right now. We got the, hef, the earbuds in. I went and did the fit test, make sure these guys are squared away. Again, I am using uh, the larger ear tips. I swapped those out um, so that way 
I get a better seal and everything like that. So let's go ahead and get our crowd noise jumping. All right. Make sure you guys can hear that through the mic. All right. So it's basically like if we was outside walking around. Uh, we're in, like I said, we're in transparency mode, so everything's coming through uh, just fine. All right. And let's go ahead and top in uh, noise canceling mode. All right, noise canceling has been turned on. Uh, let's get rid of the, the smart wind technology, D wind technology. All right, so even though that's more for phone calls, <clears throat> excuse me, but I have to admit, I can still hear some uh, of the ambient sound around me uh, that I have uh, ginned up here. Uh, it did quiet it down a, a bit but it didn't take it, like, it didn't completely uh, block it out. So, um, if I had to rate these, uh, basically between 1 and 10, 1 being absolute trash, 10 being the absolute best, um, I would have to give these about a, I'll give these about a 5. Um, yeah, because even though it knocked out, you know, it, knock down some of the audio uh from the ambient sound rather it didn't take away all of it i can still hear a great deal so i'm gonna give them a five on this one it could be uh much better in my opinion all right let's continue all right we are back in we got the bus three paired up in the air we are in transparency mode i went ahead and changed the eq settings to their balanced setting that way uh, we are definitely um, keeping everything 100% on these. Uh, let me see what else uh, we can do with these guys. I mean, I just want to check something now just to make sure everything is copacetic with these. All right, let's go in. Okay. So these guys do not have LDAC. So what's going to happen is, is when we switch over to the pros, we're definitely going to turn LDAC off just to keep it even um, and see how they sound. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on to noise canceling. All right, noise canceling is turned on. And we're going to go ahead and get into our song. We're going to make sure we're in the optimal listening level. All right, I think we're good there. Let's go. All right, nice, clean, and clear. Sounds a little... Uh, Uh, I guess a little bit more bassy, a little bit not as not as crystal clear. The clarity is it there. It sounds like got a little bit more of a bass to it, although the vocals are clear. They don't get that. You know what I mean? I hope you know what I mean. I hope I'm explaining it correctly. You got nice sound stage though. The sound stage is great, especially when the again when the vo lack on vocalist comes in. You got one in the left ear, one in the right ear. Sounds great. I all right. Again, nice clean. The vocals are clean and clear, just not as bright as I was expecting, uh, especially on the uh, balance sound. Uh, it got a little bit more. Uh, I guess you could say a little bit more bass to it, a little, a little bit more low end to it, but still very enjoyable, enjoyable space. Like I said, soundstage nice and wide, especially when the vo background vocalists come in. You can definitely tell who, you know, one's the one, you know, which one's on the left, which one's on the right. You can definitely hear that. So very good there. Let's go ahead and jump into the bass song, bass song real quick. All right. Nice punch to it. The shimmery sound, very nice and clean, crisp. All right, here goes the bass drop. Ooh, nice. Oh, that sounds good. Again, oh, that reverb right there, I love it. And then, uh, oh, another bass drop. 
And again, the different levels of bass here sounds really good. Ah, uh, just. Mm, just sounds clean. I'm just, I'm listening. I'm trying to decide. I'm listening in uh, to these. Here we go again. Uh, that bass drop, that reverb is phenomenal. Love how it rattles, rattles the ears, uh, the eardrums, man. Oh, like what I was saying, I was focusing on uh, listening to them, uh, just hearing the different, uh, you know, how bright the sound was. I just I wanted to see if that was the case. But these guys seem to lean more to the bass end of it. Again, definitely shows up here in the bass song. Uh, it did show up in the first song. Let's see if it goes into our instrumental. Yeah, you could tell the difference. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that key right there, you hit that on the keyboard. Got a nice little rumble out of it. So it's leaning more to the bass end. But still, very clear. Not quite balanced. Lee saxophone. Sounds good. Again, could be a little bit brighter, give it a little bit more clarity, but it does sound good. Really? I don't know. It gives this song a little bit more body, if you ask me. Uh, just having that little bit of, uh, giving a little bit more towards the low end. It's giving this song a little bit of body. I like it. But, you can definitely tell the difference here. Definitely can tell the difference. It's just not you can definitely tell that uh, it's just it definitely has that that low end lean to it, but it, it did sound good. All right. I hope I I hope I explained that um the best I can uh to you guys so that you guys can understand it. Again, I'm not an audio file. I don't talk <laughs> I don't speak music. I just tell you, but you know, just by since I've been doing this, I learned a lot. I just hope I'm relaying this so that we, way you guys can understand uh, what I mean when I'm saying like lean, giving that more of a low end lean to it and things like that. So, but again, really good sounding earbud. Uh, the bass was powerful. The reverb in the bass song was clean. I just you just notice the lean towards the low end when you're getting into songs where uh, clarity and crispness. Are you expect it and it's kind of not there. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead, get these swapped out. We're going to have the Air 6 Pros run them in. Stay strapped in. All right, we are back in. We got the Air 6 Pros all paired up. We're in the app. We got transparency on. We do have it in nat nature balance mode. That's their, I guess that's their default setting. All right, so we're going to go ahead and first thing we're going to do, we're going to keep it uh, as close to um, equal as possible. We're going to go in. We're going to, uh, let me see. Okay, these don't have LDAC either. All right, I thought these had LDAC turned. Let me see. All right, so LDAC. I thought these had LDAC as well, but they don't. All right, so, or at least it's not turned on, which is what we want. All right, so we're going to go ahead in, put on noise canceling. All right, noise canceling has been activated. So let's go ahead and jump into our music. We are at the optimal listening level. All right, here we go. All right, night. Okay, sounds bright. A very clear. Oh wow, the bass and. and the vocalist sounds so crisp. Even the nice wide sound stage with the background vocalist. And if you pay attention to the detail when she's taking a breath, it's very, it's very present. Very nice. Very clean, very crisp, very crisp. I'm liking it. And again, when the, the background vocalists come in, again, you can tell who's on the right, who's on the left. So the sound stage is fantastic. 
Very clean sound right there. Man, and again, nice and bright. That gives you, you know, the gives you the most clarity and everything when it comes to vocalists and instruments. Uh, just really like that. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the bass test. Here we go. Again, nice punchy bass right out of the chute. Nice rumble, the, the, the shimmering sound, very sharp. Oh, that bass drop with the reverb, nice. Very clean. You got that, oh, that reverb there, oh, love it. That's detail there, because some of the earbuds don't pick that up. Again, gives you different levels of, different levels of bass. Fantastic sounding. Oh, I love, I, again, the uh, volt, the the clarity, the brightness of the sound just gives you that clarity. Jesus, oh, it sounds so good. All right. Oh, what is going on? All right, it's very very clean, very crisp. I uh, just absolutely love it. It I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> the group is going crazy. All right, again, I absolutely just love the bass, the power, the balance is what I'm this is where word I'm looking for. You got that power from the bass, you got the clarity and the crispness from the shimmering sound. These these guys sound good. And they, for under a hundred bucks. Come on. Come on. All right, here we go. Going home. Again, nice, bright sound. Crispness from the keyboard. Oh, sounds so good. Ah, uh, lead saxophone comes in. Sh just sharp. Oh, uh, very clean. Oh, uh, yes. Sounds so good. Oh, this is uh, just wonderful. I love the clarity on these. Ah, uh, sounds so good. Oh. <laughs> Just oh yeah, I, you you just get lost in the song. They sound that good. Uh, and as far as the vote, the clarity and everything, just they just sound that good. All right, so man, that was that was a great head to head. All right, what we want to do now is just go ahead and get this cleaned up. We'll come back and we will talk about it. Pick our winner, uh, episode one. Stay strapped in. All right, we are back in episode one wrapped up. Let's go ahead and uh, talk about these and pick our winner. Uh, I did like both the way both of these sound, but when you compare the two, uh, you definitely get two different types of sound out of them. Uh, the Buzz 3 gives you that more low end lean to their songs, which gives, uh, which takes away from some of the clarity of like, say your uh, vocalists, as well as your instruments, while giving you a nice, Nice bump, nice pump and bump uh, to the bass and the reverb and everything sounds great. Whereas with the Air 6 Pros, you get that great balance um, when it comes to the uh, vocalist instruments, how crisp and how clean they are, clear they are, and as well as how powerful uh, as the bass is. And of course, they get a little bit, they get louder um, naturally than the uh, Buzz 3 do. Uh, they, it's just, you know, definitely, you can definitely tell the difference. So, uh, hands down, if I had to pick one to go with, although I do like the Buzz 3 and I keep them, uh, at the ready, I would have to go with the Air 6 Pros on this one. Uh, yes, a lot of people will say, well, they're the pro version, of course, but the Buzz 3 are not that far behind. If, uh, and again, I was using them on, uh, just their default, e uh, preset. And I'm quite sure if I go ahead and tweak it and everything, put in the EQ sound, I could probably get these guys to get real close to these. Um, but 
as a rating, if I had to pick one to go with, I would definitely go with uh, this Air 6 Pros here. But this has been a great start of the Gauntlet series for these. We got three other uh, earbuds lined up for this series. If I hope you guys tune in and enjoy. If you like it, go ahead and hit the like button. Please hit the like button. I hate ba- I hate saying I hate begging, but uh, that whole helps the algorithm. That gets the algorithm. It helps the channel get out to more people with the more likes it gets. Go ahead and hit that, and make sure you listen. Uh, got the video playing all the way through. That also helps with the algorithm as well. And if you want to join me as I continue this Gauntlet series and others, uh, head-to-head with headphones and things like that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way you guys are notified when videos like this and others drop. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.